these are the things that well you know i probably can afford but you wouldn't really spend money on it because you know it's expensive hey guys it's annika and welcome back to my channel to those who are new to my channel welcome my name is annika i'm registered nurse in the philippines and also here in the uk if you're new here in this channel then i encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update <laughs> So guys, for today's video, we will be talking about what's expensive here in the UK. So I'm gonna put a lot of disclaimers for this video because it's quite actually hard because the, pers the perspective of being like expensive, what's expensive, of course, is different with each person, right? So it actually depends, of course, with the lifestyle you have or how you grew up and everything. But for me, so this is just going to be a perspective of someone coming from the Philippines, coming here in the UK. So I'd say we're probably an average um, family in the Philippines. So I'm just going to be speaking, of course, based on my opinion. So it might not be expensive to you guys who are watching or if you have any ideas of what's actually expensive here in the UK, please comment down below. It will help others as well who would be reading the comments. So again, this is just coming from me. Um, each of us is different. So you might say that, oh, maybe that's not expensive for me or that's still cheap or whatever. But again, this is just um, my opinion. So yes, feel free to actually put down your comments below. So yes. Actually, it's pretty hard if you're coming from a probably a third world country coming to a you know first world country um, It's hard because during your first few months you'll probably be converting stuff and I think that's one of it's pretty common to do that when you're in another country Oh, this is so expensive and everything like that because you're trying to compare from the country you were in So yes, let's start. So the first thing that I've noticed here We're, we're just gonna go through the things that I believe is expensive and then we'll go to the other things why I didn't like say it is expensive so Let's start. So first in my list would be salon services like haircut, hair color, or whatever you want to do with your hair, hair treatment and stuff. So haircut here in the UK for ladies out there is actually, if you're going to be going in like a mid-range salon, so it's going to be for me because when I came here, um, I had my hair cut and it's around like 40 to 50 pounds. That's excluding the tip that you would give. I mean, it's not mandatory, but for me, I feel like if you have some services done with you i think it's just polite to actually give a tip it is expensive and i never had my hair color done here because it starts like around 70 70 pounds depends on your length uh your hair length as well so yeah um that's why when i um, went back in the philippines last couple months ago april i did all like the haircut treatment and um hair color there because it's still way cheaper if i'm gonna compare it here in the uk for guys um it's cheaper because i think haircut for guys here could start at around 10 pounds um of course more the more posh the salon is it's gonna be more expensive but yeah 10 pounds next for here guys. would be massage so in the philippines you can actually if i'm gonna like just compare it you could actually get like a home service massage for like what like two pounds is it yeah i think so two pounds and like if you're gonna go to like a mall for your like one hour swedish massage or shiatsu massage it's probably around five to six pounds for a good massage i had massage as well when i went home to the philippines so these are the things that well you know i probably can afford but you wouldn't really spend money on it because you know it's expensive so yeah, these are the things I have done when I had my vacation in the Philippines. So, massage. And I don't know if it's even worth it, if it's the same like massage that you're used to, you know? <laughs> so, we don't know, but hopefully it's good. If you had your massage here in the UK, please comment down below. Is it worth it? <laughs> like the 70 pounds or even probably pricier for, again, depends on which kind of, you know, um, massage you're gonna go. Okay, next would be still with like services like facial or other you know facial treatments. I never had it done but I've seen one before. It probably starts around 40 pounds or just way 40 pounds or maybe more than that I guess especially if you're in London or you know bigger cities so yeah I never had facial 
which I normally would have in the Philippines because I wouldn't say it's cheap in the Philippines but there are cheaper options as well so yeah I just wouldn't do it here <laughs> I would just buy like scrubs or like facial masks you know <laughs> okay next would be dental services so why did I say dental services so here in the UK they do offer um, dental services um, if you registered with an NHS like dentist but again for some reasons there's gonna be a long queue to be registered um, you know with your NHS for your dental um, dental needs mm -hmm. it's pretty um, expensive because if you haven't watched my video about you know my dental filler here in the UK it cost me around 200 pounds or more for just one tooth filling so I'll put the link below if you guys are interested to watch it so it is quite expensive to go private but of course for you out there who have like who are in the NHS um, less for dental for dental for dentists <laughs> so yeah it's probably way cheap it's just difficult here if you've got dental problems um, because in the Philippines, dentists are just everywhere and you can just go in there <laughs> and have your teeth cleaned or whatever. So here it's pretty difficult and also expensive. So yes. <laughs> so when I went back to the Philippines, I've got all my um, um, tooth filling done as well because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to spend a lot of money again for one tooth filling. So yes. Yeah. So actually, that's a good tip for you guys out there who's going to come here. Make sure you get your dental needs done before coming here because it can be quite expensive okay and then next would be train tickets so it could be it's like with an asterisk here in my list it, it could be expensive if you don't have rail cards because rail cards um, it's 30% off each time you buy a ticket so I would say it can be quite expensive especially if you're traveling to London for some reasons it would always always be just way expensive even though I have a rail card maybe a return ticket going to London from here maybe around 70 pounds so imagine if I don't have a rail card that would be like 100 pounds just to go to London but of course the cheap uh, but of course you have the cheaper option to go in National Express or the bus or the coach as they call it here but that would be like six hours um, you know double the time that you're gonna be traveling and I just couldn't do it I would just you know book a train for convenience so yeah there are different kinds of rail cards available here depending on your age or because there's a couple rail cards as well and just different rail cards I'm not pretty sure but I'm just buying the rail card like before when I was still 25 it's 16 to 25 rail card but now it's like 26 to 30 rail card so yeah 30% off it's worth it guys so please do buy your glass so actually those are the things that I find it expensive what else is here okay electricity at the moment <laughs> so from my previous vlog I have been saying about electricity so it's because of course you know the war that's happening in Ukraine and Russia it um, the electricity went really high I think same with gas but I just couldn't feel the gas at the moment because it's still quite you know warm and it's summer so drying the clothes outside um, is really a great help and I'm not been using the radiator of course to you know warm the flat so it's still good so I'm just using the gas actually for my water um, what else so let's just go through the things um, I didn't mention that's you know expensive to me so just to give you an idea, for example, for appliances, gadgets, and furniture. So if I'm going to compare it to the Philippines and here, I feel like it's just reasonably priced. <laughs> How do I say that? Yeah, it's just about the same actually. Like, you know, if you can have a, like an iPhone or a camera, it's probably the same price. Or maybe just a little bit higher here, but still, I wouldn't say that it's something really expensive here in the UK. So they have a lot of payment options here, which make it a bit lighter actually to purchase some stuff. And also they have like Klarna here, which is, if you guys don't know it, Klarna is very useful if you're buying in certain shops because it will spread the payments in three months and it's 0% interest so it's pretty good but not of course every shops accept Klarna and also with like furniture you know and appliances and other stuff marketplace is pretty a good um, place to actually buy it if you're not very fussy with it because there's lots of stuff that are being sold there secondhand stuff especially like furniture as well so you can find 
find it cheaper there than actually buying a brand new so one. Next, let's talk about shoes, clothes, bags, and accessories. So I didn't put it as expensive because I believe there are lots of options here in the UK. So same, wherever you are in the world, there might be, of course, if it's branded, you know. But generally speaking, there's like Primark, there's Marketplace, there's Vinted, where you can sell your secondhand clothes, your used clothes, you know, there are a lot of options. So charity shops if you're not very picky. So I wouldn't say that it would really cost you a lot with buying um you know your clothes and everything. And again, there are lots of payment options like Klarna if you're you know if you're gonna buy clothes, especially in ASOS. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've mentioned ASOS in my vlogs, but yeah, there are a lot of options. So yes, um those are the things that I've listed here. Um, what's expensive here in the UK is probably the basics the necessities that you actually play, pay <laughs> each month like your electricity your gas bill and all other stuff i guess if you don't you know avail any of the services i mentioned and you're just you know living like a basic life here as well i think it's it's still fine you know you can survive so yeah <laughs> so yes i think that's it for this vlog i don't know if i actually help you guys there but yeah do comment down below if you want me to answer if like is that guys this one expensive i'm gonna have um i'm gonna try to answer it <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching this bleh. thank you guys for watching this video and again don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my next one bye